Right, this will make in this will make uh, drilling a lot easier. So mark it on this inside bit like this. Make sure it's straight. Just cut that out, clamp them back together, and then just widen that hole. Right, that's what you'll have. Clamp it back together, drill through, and then take it back apart. If this bit breaks off, keep it, because we'll glue that back on later. Doesn't matter if it breaks, it breaks on nearly every single crossbow I've ever done. So just keep it, and, and we'll glue that back on. Right, that's what you should have now. Test that your, your little bolt goes in, and that head can go in that gap, which mine won't quite yet, so I'm going to need to just make that gap slightly bigger. So just do that first, before you take it apart again, make sure that this head can go right in. Because we're going to have it, when it's done, it's going to be in like that, and then take it apart. Right, what you're going to want to do now is put your bolt on, mark to cut out a little bit like that so that the, the nut can sit in between there you're also going to want to mark it on both sides of the wood and then you're going to need some kind of gap filling adhesive glue that I forgot to mention to glue that nut in so you're going to want to cut a bit out of here cut a bit out of that side cut that bit out of there if it, if it breaks off it doesn't matter as long as it fits back in afterwards and then we can glue one side of this down to one side. We won't do, we won't glue it on both sides for now in case we need to open it again. So we're going to need a little chisel to chisel these bits out to get that in and then glue it in. I'll show you myself gluing it in once I've chiseled the holes out. Right, this is the kind of thing you're looking for. See, it's in deep enough. And then we want a bit on the other side like that. Stick that back on. Stick that on. Just have a, see if it clamps up alright. If it don't clamp up enough, you need to make the hole bigger. And then uh, we'll come back in a minute and I'll show you how to glue it all together. Alright, what you want to do at this point then is pick a side. Just you might as well do the same sides I'm doing. Glue, put some glue on there. And there, glue that part on, that part on, and put plenty of glue inside that groove and around the nut and on the other side there to hold that nut in place. And then what you can do then is screw it all back together and then that should be that done and the trigger and all that done. And then, but if we ever need to get in it again, you can just unscrew it before we finish it totally, just to adjust things. So, yeah, glue all that up, screw it all back together, and then come back. Yeah, but just glue the one half down, and glue one half of the nut in. Uh, the nut for that. Because I've, I've just remembered, we're going to want to take this apart at a later date. If, we, if we're going to add a magazine to this... We need to get in here to add a spring to the nut to make it uh, self-adjusting, which we haven't done yet. Uh, yeah, that'll be done at a later date. So just glue this one half down. Don't glue both, and make sure there isn't glue in that little groove there. Otherwise, that'll stick it together. So make sure it's not glued, screw it back together so it can be took apart, but this part can be glued down. Uh, make sure you haven't got too much glue in the uh, thread, just keep moving it. Clamp it all back together and then come back and we'll go on to the side plates now. Right, so now we're going to put on one of the side plates. This is probably one of the longest jobs there's going to be, uh, putting these two side plates on, because they take a long time, it's a lot of drilling, drilling holes. Uh, it's up to you where you put the holes, but you can either use the template I did, 
or you can just roughly mark them out. You're going to want them about here, here, uh, down here. Make sure you don't have them anywhere near the trigger and nut, that the screws aren't going right way through the metal and the wood and into the, the nut or, or it'll jam it. Maybe one here, one up there, one there. Yeah, just do that many for now. One, two, three. Okay, four, do one there, five. And then do one there, one there, and let's say one here one there uh, that should be fine for now so what you want to do is drill about a three mil hole through all of those crosses uh, I don't know about cat sinking them yet So that one may be too high. Bring that one down a bit. You want it about there. That one's alright. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll drill these out and then I'll show you where to do them. Right, this is the general position of the holes. This isn't all of them, this is just for now, just hold this on for when we file it and do some other stuff. You know, one about there, one there, one just past the nut, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. And once you've drilled, if you've got any of this metal sticking out, file those off and then come back. Right, what I'd recommend doing now is push the pins out for the trigger and nut and remove those, put those aside, and then countersink all these holes that you've done so that your one inch screws can be screwed in to both the wood and the metal, but be low enough so that when our handle comes across it's not hitting the screw heads. So cat sink all these holes now and remove the trigger and nut and place those aside. You, to do that you only need to push the pins out and then they'll come out. Alright, so when you come back, that should be those should be removed and there should be cat sunk holes in there. <coughs> Alright, what you want to do now is get it in its general position. If there's any overhang, get a bit over both sides because we'll fold that off anyway. We're gonna to need to fold that bit. Uh I'm just thinking, yeah, well, we'll screw it on now, screw it on, and then we'll uh, start filing the top, this front bit, the bottom bit, around there, and then we'll take it off after, after we've done some other stuff, and then file these bits, because it's a bit rough. So, first thing is, screw that onto the wood. Right, once you've got that side plate on, you're going to want to file the top level, the bottom level, and that part, and the front. Uh, also, this top bit, you can bevel it downwards slightly and curve it. You know, like that kind of shape. You know, nice curve on there, so it's not sharp for the string. Uh, also, if you're struggling with the screws that you're using, the one-inch screws, you can always go down to a smaller screws to hold the metal in. I had to really, the only reason I did is because I kept snapping them. I had to go down to a smaller screw so it didn't go in far, far, uh, as far. Uh, yeah, so shape that metal. Just do one side for now because what we're going to do is do the hole for the uh, prod as well while one side's on. So, uh, file the top and then uh, we may have to take it off and do this bit and I'd recommend doing that edge first when you do the other side before you put it on I don't know why I didn't say that but because we're going to have to take it off just to do that bit now you may be able to do it on you may be able to do it with it on I don't know but 
might be better to take it off. Anyway, file it all round and then do that bit on or off and then put this back on. Right. Right. I didn't mention this but uh, curve around all the edges. Every edge you can get to. So it's all nice and smooth. That's what the end wants to look like. And that's so we can hide the 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 end of the bolt inside that little cutout. What we're gonna do now is turn it over and then drill holes in the corners of this hole through the aluminium and then cut out so you've got them the hole through here and then just file that. So the easiest way to do it is like I said just drill a hole in each corner and then some in the middle and then a file, file the bit out in the middle and then just file it into the square shape and then we'll come back and we'll screw the other side on and then we'll just do exactly the same as what we did to the other side but first of all we'll do that first so that's all I, that's all I did, I just drilled through the back side into there now all I need is a file to file that into its shape a round file will do just to get the outside bits off and then a flat file to do the rest Right, so now there's your reinforced prod hole, so what you want to do now, turn it over, get your other piece of metal for the other side, put that on, drill the holes in approximately where the holes were on the other side, screw it on, file it again, and then drill through again. I'll leave you to get on with screwing it. Remember, you drill the holes first, mark the holes, drill the holes, countersink them, put the metal on, file it all round. Remember to file this bit before you put it on. And then at that point, I'll show you how to do the hole again, just in case. Right, you should have your two plates on now. Now, just remember to. Drill through again to make the hole. Do exactly what you did for this side, but on the other side. And then and then come back and I'll decide what we'll do next. Right, I think this is gonna be the last job we're gonna to do today, because it's getting late. Uh, what we'll do, we'll mark out for the groove that's gonna to have to be cut. So you want to match this up to the bottom, not the top, because like mine's a bit shorter. You don't want this bit too thin. So match it up from the bottom and the front, like that. Uh, mark this however you want. I might just mark each end for thickness and then draw a line across. Uh, once I've marked on one side, come back and then I'll tell you how we'll remove that section of metal and wood. Right, so this is how I'm going to do it. I've just drilled two holes. One there, one there. Which was each end of the thing. And I'm going to draw a line on the outside of each. You know, so then there's the mark. And I'm just going to drill all the way between. And then using files and that clean it up but if you've got a jigsaw you could just cut along easily but I haven't got one so I'm gonna have to do it this way so do it however you like I've drawn from both sides as you wondered just make sure you've got that nice groove all the way along uh, and then once we've done that that'll probably be the end of today's video this part right I've drilled all my holes along now I'm just chiseling between the metal and then I'll stick a file in I'll have to do that on both sides stick a file in and then uh, or maybe my coping saw or whatever maybe that other saw you know, that little hand saw I had and uh, clean that out until that's a perfectly smooth channel for the uh, handle to run along so when I come back that should be done right it's going to be the end to today's video you should now have the groove cut in 
and this to make sure it's big enough you've got to have this sleeve in there remember so make sure that slides in slides along fine as you can see mine does obviously the smoother the better uh, don't matter if it's a bit loose we'll, we'll start again tomorrow and we'll do uh, I'm not sure yet we'll just see tomorrow alright don't forget to visit my blog the link will be down there